Welcome back to my channel. Today, you guys were making, I feel like we're actually doing an ode, if you will, to our queen, Ina Garden. We're making her green herb and roasted salmon. It's so fabulous, it's so easy, it's so fresh. It's perfect for spring. So here's how you make it, it's super easy. Six ingredients, that's all. This recipe is so fabulous, it's so delicious, and of course, it's from the queen herself, Ina Garden, so we know it's gonna be really damn good. It literally just uses a bunch of fresh herbs like parsley and dill, scallions, and then I'm gonna make like a quick little vinaigrette first and let the salmon marinate. I have my oven preheating to 425, and just go ahead and put your fillets in a baking dish like so, and let's get it marinating. So, you need a fourth of a cup, and I'm just gonna eyeball this because I'm chaotic like that. Fourth of a cup. Mm, that looks about right. And some lemon juice. I think roughly the recipe calls for two tablespoons maybe or two teaspoons. I personally love a lot of lemon. Wow, did she score? Did I? She, she did. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit extra just because I am extra. The first thing that you wanna do before you um, whisk or before you marinate this is we're gonna season with some salt and pepper. Of course, I'm using my favorite Maldon salt. Okay, gorgeous. Salt. What I'm gonna do is show you a little secret. This is actually a pepper cellar, but because we have like five types of salt in our kitchen, it's the only way to really you know, be able to differentiate. So the one that says pepper is actually our Maldon salt. The thing with this is you wanna season both sides. A Little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I've got a roughly, probably a two pound filet. I just cut it in half. And now we're ready to get this marinating. I'm gonna pour this over the top. Both of these gorgeous, stunning fillets. You guys, this recipe is so easy, but it's so packed with flavor. Both of my kids love this. You can make some, you know, honestly, make that instant pot rice. I have that recipe on my Instagram. Make it perfect every time. That way you get a little protein, a little bit of carbs, I guess. Let this sit 15 minutes while this marinades, and we're gonna go ahead and prep all of our um, fresh herbs, because that actually takes longer than you think. So we're just gonna give these a rough, Chop first and then mince them real good. Actually, the first time that I made this recipe was in the year 2020 when we made every recipe I ever made because we were home for half a many months. And you're lit, I mean, we're actually just gonna put this on the top and the bottom of the salmon. Okay. Beautiful. Oh. All right, now we're gonna do our dill. Mm. Now, for this recipe, you also have to open up a bottle of dry white wine, and I'll give you one guess as to which bottle I'm gonna open. Rhymes with to blee. <laughs> that one hurt my head. <laughs> my brain is like, what? What were you trying to say? Rub, rubbly, to blee, whatever. You get the point. All right, and now we're doing our scallions. White part included, she said, but I am gonna cut off these like furry stems. <laughs> wow, we are professional around here. This is a great dish to make on a Monday night when all that you have left in you from, you know, it being Monday is to throw a bunch of shit in a pan and cook it, so. Can I cast on here? I guess I didn't <laughs> I don't even know if I can. Oh, it's my own channel. That's right, okay. Forgot about that. Now, what I add to this recipe that Ina does not, I add a little bit of butter. When we go to put the white wine in, I add some pads of butter. I also do that with her lemon um, chicken thighs from the skillet chicken. I just feel like it adds, it makes the sauce a bit richer, obviously, because it's butter. Okay, it's probably more than half a cup. But let's see, I'm just gonna add it all. 
Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have annihilated my counter. Okay. So I'm just giving these a rough toss and it's been about 15 minutes for my like salmon marinating. So we're just going to throw these in. So let's do the bottoms first. It's a bit hard, but we can do hard things. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna kind of create a little bed for them to cook on. Hold your hand on here. And honestly, see, it'll just be right on top. Perfect. And now whatever's left is what goes on the top because the key is with every bite, you're gonna get this huge herbaceous thing. It's so yummy. Okay. So the salmon's gonna cook 10, 15 minutes. It kind of just depends on how well done you like your salmon. In the oven, 425 degrees and 15-ish, 10, 15 minutes. Oh, wait, I didn't do the wine. Oh my God. Who am I? Is she cheese gal? How did I forget the wine? This is embarrassing. Okay. <sighs> wine and butter. That was a close call. It's <laughs> good. A little bit around the fish, not on top of it. Around it, around it. About two tablespoons. Also, put in a little bit of butter. I'm gonna put in, I don't know, maybe four tablespoons. Round, not on top, because we want this to roast and get a really nice crust. And now <laughs> you're allowed to put it in. That was a close call. Okay. Okay, that smells beautiful. I ended up roasting it for a couple of extra minutes um, just because my internal temp needed to be closer to 120. But oh, I could just, I could just stay here all day long. Wow, that's a piece of art really. We're gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes, let it finish doing what it's gonna do, and then we're going to dig in. It's gonna be hard to wait. Okay, here we go. It's ready, it's been sitting for 10 minutes. I have a nice little fish spatula, feeling very professional. I'm now going to very gently put this on top. I don't know why my hand's just like, like a claw. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. The flavor is insane. What I'm gonna do now is go back in with a little bit of a sauce moment. Okay. Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's a lemon butter wine sauce. What could be so bad about that? The answer is nothing. Okay. We got to try it. So we're going in and I'm going to show you the perfect bite. Oh my God. Okay. Look, the herbs. And then because it's my house and I can do what I want to, we're dipping right into that lemon butter that I could literally bathe in. I just want to like gurgle with it. It's so delicious. Okay, ready? That is fire. I know. We love you so much. Thank you for giving us this recipe. Oh my God, that's good. I have one more bite. Guys, as always, if you liked this video, would you hit that like button? Would you comment down below? Let me know what you want to see next. This was perfect. You have to make it. It's bright, it's springy, it's fresh with all the herbs. It's lemony and wine, butter. How easy is that? See you next time.